Hello everyone, welcome back to Southern Delight. I am Debbie and today I'm going to show you how to transform an old rug like this and turn it in to something like this. If you've been following me, um, I have been trying to get ready for my husband's birthday party which we're going to be celebrating October the 31st. And I had I have lined up several little projects and little DIYs on what I used and some of my party ideas as well. And uh, today we're going to be completing the rug that um, I'm going to show you how to complete this. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. You know, you have these old rugs lying around and after spring's pass, they're all wore out and you don't know what to do with it. Well, I'm fixing to show you a nifty little project here. This particular rug had a thick mat to it. You flip it over and it has a black blank canvas. And I am going to be doing a mat for our for Halloween because we're having a Halloween party for my husband's birthday. And I'm going to be showing you several little DIYs that I've done where I've taken old things that I've had and just kind of gave them a makeover. I'm trying to be budget friendly on these projects because I have a lot invested in the food and entertainment that we're actually doing for this project. So I thought, hey, let's be a little bit creative and see what we can come up with. And what we're going to start with is this old rug. We're going to flip it over. You'll need three cans of spray paint. And again, I'm using the Rust-Oleum spray paint from Walmart. You'll need white, black and purple. Well, I thought I was getting just flat purple paint, but it happens to be gloss gray. So we'll be using that. Um, I picked up this cute little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use this pattern, and I also want to put our initial on it, which were the P's. So what we're going to be doing here is a little bit of layering. Now start by clipping off all of these tags. We don't need any of this stuff. And you can save these cute little things for another project. Just pull these off because this is a metal leaf. I've got several projects I could use that on. But right now we're going to use this as a template. But we're going to be layering all of these pieces. We're going to actually start out with the P. And I want the P to be white. I'm gonna do a purple pumpkin with a white letter inside of it, and then I'm gonna leave this part black. So what you'll have to start with is being, I want my letter white. Give it up this white spray paint. I'm gonna spray an area just large enough that that P will fit in. We've got a little area sprayed white. And we're going to lay our P right there in the center. Right there. And give it another little coat. And make sure it's well coated in there. Okay. Now we're going to take a short break. And let that dry. Okay. Take our purple paint and spray over our letter P. I'm going to kind of get in those edges. Okay, and now to finish this project. We're going to take our pumpkin and lay it over our pea to where it looks centered, like so. I'm going to put some gloves. Let's, see. Let's do the black. And we're going to do our final coat. Is the black. I'm going to touch 
except this place is, if you had some of the whites and the purples come back through on your mat there. And I'm trying to do long sweeping strokes. And we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back out and um, reveal the final product. everybody I'm here to reveal the final product once it had dried and it was still a little plain so I went back and I decided to y'all know I like cute as I said I like to cutesify things and voila I did I went back and I added some polka dots to this and I'm going to show you a neat little trick um, I didn't have one of the little they have like little sponge brushes and so forth where you can usually do your polka dots well guess what I didn't have the materials that I needed and forget it I went and running back to town so what I did was I used what I had on hand and I took the orange paint that I had I dabbed a little bit of it on some newspaper and I had this lovely glue stick and this happened to be one of the larger glue sticks. And what I did was I took the end of this glue stick, I dabbed it in this paint, and I put it down on the rug like so. And guess what? Perfect polka dots. But that's one of the, the, the little tricks that I learned in this project. And I'm just going to pass that along to you. Works wonderfully. Just don't forget to rinse it off when you're through. Also, what I discovered once I finished this project you remember the little Dollar Tree pumpkin that I had that I used for my template? And the pea that I used in here? Well, I took it, spray painted it black, took the pea, spray painted it purple, hot glued it on here. Same technique, used my glue gun with the paint here, put some polka dots on it, and tied a ribbon on it. So now, this little project I'm going to take and use for one of my older projects. One of my older wreaths that I did, this is a Halloween wreath from last year. I'm going to take and remove the trick-or-treat part out of here. And I'm going to give it a quick makeover for this party. And I'm going to put the pea in the center of it. I'll go back and wire that in. But voila, had another little idea there. But if you've been following me, um, I told you in one of my episodes that I am going to be opening an online store. Well, that online store is now, um, I finally got it published. However, I only have a few items on it now. We're still tweaking it and trying to get things just right on it. As soon as that is up and running fully, I will get to go on it. I will give you a link below where you can actually go and visit my store. And I told you what I would be doing is having some wreath kits and so forth available so uh, you could follow along with me and some of them. Next month, what I have lined up is I'm gonna actually show you how to make one of these curly mesh wreaths. And I will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do that. And um, I will be getting those in place but it will probably be around November the 1st before I do those. Right now I'm trying to wrap up Halloween and um, after this I'm going to be lining up a whole bunch of things for fall and uh, Christmas. Those are two of my very favorite times of the year, which Halloween has been pretty fun this year. It's always a lot of fun to see the kids dress up and things. But when we decided um, a couple of years ago we started doing uh, some dress up Halloween parties where we invite a lot of friends and family over. And it's so much fun to see your family dress up for Halloween when the adults get involved and the kids around here, they line up. We have so many kids in the neighborhood and we all just have a great time. We all sit on the front front lawn and we give out candy and watch the kids and uh, we have a social and kind of get together and eat and um, it's a lot of fun. But Before I close this episode, I do want to give you a run through of some of the things that I've got lined up for this birthday party. This is going to be the wreath for my front door. Um, this is also uh, one of the wreath kits that I carry in my store. It was a witch's wreath kit. And uh, down here, I have this cute little ghost sign here. Um, this is one that my neighbor made. They um, actually do some woodwork stuff. They cut it out and paint it themselves. And over here, I did the episode for one of my centerpieces there. 
This is another one that I made. I took an old pumpkin and I hot glued some ribbon to it and made a bow. There's another sign back there that my neighbor made with the boo on it. That's our decoupage plate there. One of our flower arrangements. This was the first episode that I did on Halloween with one of the centerpieces I'm going to be using. I got these cute little guys from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to actually be putting our silverware in here for the party. We're using those. There is our little Frankenstein. But guess what I found? I got this from one of my um, vendors I will be carrying from my store. He is absolutely adorable. But he holds candy on the top part here. You put your candy. Then we have a little ghost here. Which right now he just has some little spiders in there. That I'll probably put. Use as a garnish. On some of my plates and what have you. When I do the little snacks up and so forth. The Dollar Tree had some really cute things. They had these little cups with the hands on them. We'll be using those. They have, always have some cute party things like napkins and plates and things like that that you can get. But um, I thought these were some cute little cups here. And of course I had to get something spooky for my husband. He likes all that spooky stuff. And of course me. I like all the cutesy stuff. But of course I do have a, a mean looking Frankenstein in there for him. With the little pumpkin that I did from the Dollar Tree. Which the Dollar Tree is full of neat little things that you can use. And just take them. And I've been watching a lot of those DIYs from the Dollar Tree. And it's, it's quite addictive. And it's, and it's so fun. And then you see like one person may do it one way. And then another person has another spin on it. And, um, but you can come up with all kind of different little ideas and things like that. And they're all really inexpensive. And of course my rug there, which I am so tickled over my rug. But that concludes it for this episode. And this concludes it for our Halloween episode. And uh, like I said, we'll be beginning on, um, finishing up some fall ideas and I'm going to do some wreath making next month and starting in November. So, um, if you will, if you'll go ahead and click that subscribe button, if you haven't done so already, that way you can follow me. And then when I download my next video that you'll be, it'll be a lot easier to find me because what I'm finding out is it's kind of difficult to find me right now. I'm new. So I get lost in the feed somewhere. But if you do subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything. But that way it groups all of my videos together. And when you click on it, it'll download all of them. So that um, I do a lot of episodes 1, 2, and 3 and that sort of thing. And then if you're following me and you want to finish up on an episode, it just makes it really easy. Um, but if you'll go ahead and do that. But I've got plenty more in store. So until then, thank you and have a good night.